Hey, I'm Maura, and these are my top five tips for thrifting on the fader. Number five, it doesn't have to be new to be cool. If it's cool now, it's probably cool at some other point in time. And instead of buying into fast fashion, which is so bad for the environment and you know, treats workers pretty badly a lot of the time. You can go to a flea market or a thrift store. In Australia, we call them op shops and probably find exactly what you want without looking exactly like everybody else. So today I was wearing this tie-dye jumper and it's from a bodybuilding competition and it's very comfortable and I love it. <laughs> Tip number four, are you actually going to use it and is it practical? I'm gonna backpedal on this straight away and say, if it's $2, it doesn't actually matter if you're gonna use it or not, but it's it's good if it's practical. Today I've got with me this backpack that I bought in Australia at an op shop for like $4. I take it with me everywhere and it fits my headphones and a book and my sunglasses and my wallet. It's perfect. This is my wallet. It's a little Goosebumps one. On the back it says it's from 1996. It's a bit faded now. My friend told me that her grandma told her that she always wears two really oversized mismatched earrings like with birds on them or something just as a point of conversation. I think that's a really good tip and that's kind of why I keep this wallet because it just brings people together. I feel like you can't go wrong with oversized clothes. If you buy like a dress that's too big you can always hem it to turn it into a mini dress. I did this with a pink dress that I, I'm really obsessed with at the moment. I wore it in a music video for my song Charlie. I want to get a sewing machine and I want to learn how to do basic things. I have all these designs in my head that I just don't know how to get out. So I think it would be really fun and it'd be so handy that like it's just such a practical life skill. I think if people fix their clothes rather than throwing them out, it would be so much better. Number one, always ask if there is a story behind the piece that you're about to buy. Sometimes you can be really blown away, like if you ask the history of what you're buying. One thing that I bought recently from this vintage designer dealer in LA, I saw that he was selling this amazing, like, chunky gold Versace choker. I bought it and it turns out that Rosalia borrowed the necklace for the Con Arturo music video and Megan the Stallion wore it in the video for Big Old Freak. So it's like got a bit of a musical history. So I've got to wear it in a music video now. <laughs>